it's a Friday night. Let's go crack open a nice quart beer. Let's go. So I found out a couple months back ago that I am allergic to alcohol. Yes, I don't know why. My body just can't handle it. So whenever I do these tasting videos with alcohol, my skin during the recording and after for a couple of hours becomes really red, very thick, and it hurts my cheeks. So we're gonna be drinking 0% alcohol. Still tastes pretty good. It's a Friday, I guess we just speak about what's happened this week. <laughs> then not much. I've actually been feeling very sick this week in a way of no energy. Very tired, although I go to bed at like 9 o'clock, sometimes earlier. I don't know what's been up with me this week. I haven't seen my parents for a week. I chose that, you know, because normally I go to my parents at a Thursday night stay at it was Saturday, Sunday. I discussed a couple of days prior that you know I wanted just to be alone this week. That's been pretty wonderful and peaceful. And thank you for the person who mentioned who messaged me on Instagram saying how to unlock the button because it was messing around. Thank you if you are appreciated. I replied back to that person. Thank you so much by the way. when my father used to work at Volkswagen. I think when he first immigrated with my mom to the Netherlands, about 25 years ago or something, so he, we used to live in my slows. I went to the old house about six, seven years ago. Like me and my brother would often go to my slows. Back in the days, me and my brother used to do a lot of things together, you know, that was way before we had a family, like a wife or had a girlfriend. Well, we had a few girlfriends at the time. My brother was a player. Holy crap. Nah, but dude, the, the, the people he used to pull up, I'm like, damn, bro, that's a 10 out of 10, look wise. Like, how do you pull a girl like that, bro? I'm telling you, man, sometimes it was so funny waking up, opening the door, and you see this girl taking a shit on the toilet at 6.30 in the morning. It's like, like my dad had that once he walked in the bathroom. I don't know, naked or something, but it was, he, yeah, mom and dad said, this ain't happening no more. Well, I didn't stop him from doing that. I never had that. I've never done that. No, not possible. My parents interrogate the crap out of me when I bring someone over. Jesus. That's why I, when I meet somebody, I take them to my place. With consent. Slows. I lived there until I was two and a half, three years. That's ironic because we're moving out like three weeks, four, three and a half weeks, but I'm actually staying here. I got my car, the car uh, driving thing in January, February. But I lesson every single two weeks, right? I just finished my lesson today. But, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so basically, I just got to the chase. I don't know, I've said that as well. I stopped smoking marijuana. I just do this for the videos. I don't even like smoking it outside, but my dad used to work at Volkswagen. And uh, I remember on a Friday night because uh, my father was a chain smoker. Like he used to be in the army, not volunteer because you didn't have a choice when you were 15, 16 back in Africa. South Africa, 
sorry every african had to do that right you didn't have a choice he used to smoke a shitload in the army because some days he told me they didn't have anything to do and i was like interesting interesting but he stopped smoking when i got bored when i was born and um so at the volkswagen the place was awesome back then it's just such a such a f up nowadays my dad sometimes visits it because a friend of ours very cool close friend of ours won't mention his name but he's got a beautiful blue audi s4 damn that thing's i think a v8 3.2 maybe even more i don't know but it's definitely v8 i've driven in it <laughs> shit is fast no cap it's got like 350 horsepower or something it's a non-turbo but it's got akrabovich uh, exhaust and uh, blue s4 nowadays collect this item later sorry it is really warm have like this smoking you know drinking there really cool yeah a lot of people that i used to visit there at that volkswagen place the, the, they're gone one of them's retired i'm not gonna mention his name but used to always see him when i used to go to school at the when i used to take the metro to metro ockers it's back in this i used to always see him like every morning they pick up his uh it's a newspaper, right? On his bicycle. Yeah, I think he retired, pretty sure. Yeah. Other guy worked somewhere else. The other guy also worked somewhere else. Yeah, most of the guys that used to work at the Volkswagen left. Only two of them that I know that, that still work there. And one of them is going to leave soon to live in Australia with his brother he has a very chill guy with the Audi but yeah, anyways this week um, it's been shit really I, I don't know what is up with me this week uh, I've been feeling I've been feeling really weird in a way of not lonely no because Brendan's back like next week like two weeks time he's back well yeah two and a half weeks staying here because like I said there's no point in moving with my parents now and have to go them go back here every single two weeks you know I'm just not doing that it's not fair for them they have to really work on that house so I think I'll just stay here until like December yeah I think that's like the best thing you know obviously like I maybe have to arrange something with my driver's instructor that I can maybe like stay a month at my parents and then you know come back then stay here for two months something I gotta yeah but I'm driving off in like January, February. Am I annoyed? Nah, but I was already expecting that I couldn't drive off earlier. It sucks, but it's what it is. Can't do anything about it, really. It's completely full. So it's just what it is like this. the price. 
was like 60, 70 euro. God damn, that game better be award winning. Let me tell you, it was really cool. That's a very nice non alcoholic beer. I must say, I thought it was going to taste like lemonade, but surprisingly, it actually tastes really nice. So, wow, super low on sugars. Because normally, like these things, I've got a shitload of sugar in them. Like, it's not even funny. No, like the feeling I've had this week is waking up and dizzy. You know, I've been trying to avoid the, the, the zero sugar drinks because that shit's bad for you, really, if you drink too much. Because your body needs sugar, right? That's why I've been drinking a little bit of sugar drinks this week. It could also be from the cheesecake that I had the other two days ago. I like a kilogram of cheesecake. Like 600 grams of cheesecake. That shit was fire. God damn, let me tell you all that. That was a very nice, very nice cheesecake. I'm gonna also make an upcoming snip, snip, snip part two. I saw a comment saying I wish the video was longer. I promise next one, 20 minutes at least. The reason why I made that one very short is because I didn't want to make it too long that it got boring for the viewer, but then I'm also like, I must think as a viewer and act like one. If I want to watch an ASMR, I want it to be at least 15 to 20 minutes. Wow, that's crazy. But yeah, it's been a month since I've stopped smoking marijuana and, um, yeah, I've been feeling good. I mean, I'll be honest, the beginning of the first week, I was like, poor man, I really wanted to smoke it. And that is exactly what my mom was warning me about. Look, you, you know, you think you can control it, but it's easier said than done. This isn't worth the money. It's funny, because if I go to Germany, this is like 10 cents. We gotta really implement this in the Netherlands, man. Why is it not money? I said, nah, it's cool, mom, because, you know, she's always worried that I would do, like, you know, that, but I said, nah, mom, I won't ever do that, but even my brother has, has taught me if I ever did that, it'd break my fingers, I said, well, you won't ever catch me using it, trust me, bro, that's, that's crap. It's really good, I'm telling you. something has popped in my mind. I had a friend named Eric at school years ago. I have no contacts with him anymore. The guy turned out to be weird as hell, man. Like, fucking creepy eventually. In a way, of the shit that he was putting off, I was like, bro, what the fuck's wrong with you, man? Act normal. You're not 10 years old, bro. Stop doing all this fake bullshit. Claiming to have, you know, all this and this and that. They're just seeking attention. Eventually, I was done with them. Like, yo, bro, I can't do this shit no more. I'm sorry, man, but this fake seeking attention of you having supposed to depression, this and this and this and that, blah, blah, blah. Stop the crap, bro. Like, stop it. Like, nah, for real, man, it was pissing me off eventually. He was eventually supposedly taking anti-depression pills. I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you depressed about? You know what I mean? Just stuff like that pisses me off But he Like I was helping him But at a venture point He was like Why should I help him If he's not even If he doesn't want to help But like sometimes You can't help a person If they're not willing To help themselves Then you must try to help them Because they're just They're blinded You know it's, I don't know It's easier to speak on it I know Maybe there was stuff Going on behind the scenes That I truly didn't know Because I didn't Go out with him Outside the school times No I just I knew him for like ten, 8 or 10 years I used to have a thing for his uh, cousin. Uh, nah, not not a no. What's it called? Is it a cousin or a not nah, cousin? Yeah. Don't know why. I was tripping mad, but I was bro. I liked her a lot. I bought her stuff from Valentine's. I mean, at least I got a kiss from her. But was it worth it? No. I didn't even get one on the lip. I got one on the cheek. But that was my first move I'd ever done with a female. I was only like 11 or something, not 10, 11, yeah, started off from a young age.
schoolmates are doing like Jimmy I don't know what he's doing at the moment another kid named Anok he wanted to be a, uh, a locomotive with the trains he used to love trains always speak about fucking trains and football yeah very nice kid though bless him really bless him and his family man I really hope out of everyone like Anok is doing the best out of them all because he deserves it man used to always help, the teacher used to always help him extra because of his uh, lack of ability understanding the Dutch language, you know, just like my parents, you know, they had to um, get taught how to speak Dutch as well, but mm, to be honest, my parents, my dad came to South Africa, so there's a lot of Dutch words mixed in it, but South Afrikaans is not Dutch, it's an actual own language, but a lot of Dutch words because of the Dutch stuff that happened in the past, you know, we went to Africa with the slavery and stuff, etc. That's why. I think his parents were from... Not Nigeria, I think. years ago but this family was very very nice like really humble like you know they didn't have much but wow they were very humble man they were really really nice people I spoke to them a few times you know really really nice family he's got a little brother as well I don't know what his name is but I used to play with him as well on the PlayStation me and Jimmy and Anal used to always you know play FIFA etc and uh, <laughs> I remember that one time right Nah, this is the funniest thing he's ever done. He used to sometimes unintentionally make us laugh and do stupid shit without him actually realizing what he was doing, right? He was a very smart kid. He was very smart, don't get a fun. But however, I do think sometimes he acted like a fool. Do I don't know, maybe embarrass himself, maybe, you know, but he was a very cool guy. I also had a little bit of a a little bit of beef with him for one time because this was back when he told me you know Jimmy had screenshotted that Enoch had said to Jimmy that the only reason you're friends with the Keegan is because he's desperate and doesn't have any friends I'm like dude excuse me what that yeah, was very funny I had to laugh Jimmy wasn't really happy but I was like yeah, let the kid talk bro he's cool I'm mine so I remember right there was this girl in our class Brit Basically, she was, no, she was fucking retarded, I'm sorry bro, she was really stupid. <laughs> the stuff she used to ask sometimes, oh my god. Ah, oh, there was this one thing that she asked, we used to meme the crap out of her, poor girl, but she did it on herself, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does water live? I think that's what she asked. <laughs> I 
also dope music sometimes if it makes any type of sense like yeah it's cool and all but it's not that old really real life begins after high school really but yeah so I spoke too much Enoch I've actually um, spoke just spoke to him like two months ago he just randomly DM'd me I think he's also added me on snapchat but I haven't added him back another old classmate of mine uh, snapped me like a week and a half ago yeah, pretty interesting. Don't know why they decided to snap me out. I've got no clue. But yeah, pretty cool, I suppose. I hope they're all doing well, obviously. And I hope uh, whatever they wanted to be. Eric was one of the kids that used to... They wanted to be a chef, like a cook. What did the others they do wanted to do? Uh, Aina wanted to be with the train. Jimmy, I don't know what Jimmy wanted to be. I actually don't remember. Oh shit, the rest I didn't know. What do I want to be? A pimp? <laughs> no, yeah, I'm not joking, bro. That makes so much money. That can make so much money. That's a difference. It doesn't necessarily make you much, but... Yeah, I've talked enough in this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this Friday uh, video, man. Peace out.